What's up everyone, George Lehman here with MuscleMasochist.com. I um, wanted to give some people some tips today on what to do after a pec injury. Now there are various types of pec injuries and sometimes you tear your pec completely in half, sometimes you tear the tendon off the bones. And, um, I'm going to talk about something that I've had a number of times. I've never had a full tendon rupture or anything like that, but I've had many, many, many pec strains over the years, uh, specifically when I was younger. Um, once I got to a certain strength, I got there a little bit too fast, I did it while overtraining, and I never really cared too much about mobility and stuff, and um, I developed a good amount of scar tissue and injured areas and tight areas and stuff like that in my muscles. And so I started um, getting some pec injuries here and there between 17 and 18, and because, you know, once you hurt something before, you're a lot more likely to hurt it again. And so over the years, I've developed kind of my own little technique for coming back from pec muscle pulls and stuff like that. Now, like I said, this won't necessarily work for serious tears, but if you pulled your pec, this may be useful to you because it's been useful to me. Um, I also had some clients I've worked with in the past come to me with, with pec injury problems and I've worked with them doing the similar method I'm gonna list here. And uh, I have someone right now actually that hurt their pec recently and so I, I wanted to make this video for them. Um, here is my general advice on these things. Whenever you hurt your chest, or any muscle for that example, but whenever you hurt your chest, first thing to do, rest. You have at least six days before you even have to worry about losing any sort of strength or muscle mass or anything like that from not training. So at least six days off. However, I always encourage people to take two weeks off. Um, two weeks, nothing at all. Uh, I don't start stretching, I don't start massages, I don't start anything like that for at least a week and I take two weeks before I even try to get back into weight training of any sort. Light, whatever, any kind of weight training I, I take a good two weeks off. Now when I get back to weight training after a chest injury, normally you'll feel pretty good to go. Normally you'll feel like you're ready to train heavy again. In my experience, you are not. Um, what I like to do is start off with cable flies, very, very, very light cable flies, not explosive, controlled, okay? You want a slow, controlled um, descent, up and squeeze, um, and I'll do very high reps with those. I'll do 30 to 100 reps a set, and I'll usually start with like one little plate on the, um, the cable fly stack or whatever machine I'm using and work up to like four plates or something. And mind you, the stack is like 20 plates and I can probably use the stack. So I'm going very light, very high rep, and I'm mostly focusing on making the muscle do what it's supposed to do. Contract, stretch, get pumped full of blood, getting it back to its normal state as much as possible. That's what I wanted to do. I wanted to, I don't want to contract so hard or so fast that I re-injure it, but I do want to pump blood into the area. I do want to get it through a full range of motion because if you don't take a muscle through a full range of motion, it starts to lose its mobility. And after an injury, you're going to be losing your mobility. So it's good to take it through a full range of motion with light weight as long as nothing feels wrong. So normally what I'll do is about two weeks later, I'll start some very, very, very light cable flies. Um, also on that day, I will usually do some kind of somewhat heavy press, but for high reps. And when I say that, I do a shoulder press. Um, I'll use either dumbbells or barbell, and I'll usually do one set of like 15 to 20 reps. I usually try and use a much more upright seat than normal, if not even standing, just to make sure that I don't lean back too far and use too much chest. And I'll, like I said, I'll usually do about one set. Now this is just to get in some kind of heavy pressing on my triceps and shoulders, because I'm not going to do anything heavy for chest. Um, I recommend elbows tucked, so if you're going to use dumbbells, you want to take a grip more like this or like this instead of all the way out, because that's not elbows tucked. If you're going to do a barbell, again, a little bit of a closer grip, elbows tucked, whether it's standing or seated. And that's going to keep the weight off your chest to a large degree and onto your front delts and onto your triceps, which is what we're doing. We're trying to hit front delts and triceps, because again, don't do anything heavy for chest in two weeks. Now the thing to do once you've completed this workout, once you've done your flies and your heavy press and your Obviously you can do push downs even with a pec injury, so side laterals, cable flies, um, extensions and stuff like that, shoulder press. Um, now once you've done that, what you really want to do is more or less just take as much time off as you can stand 
afterwards. Again, another six days, another seven days, another eight days. You want to fully recover between workouts, if at all possible. Because again, you don't have to worry about losing size and strength for another six days once you've done something. Another seven days, maybe even two weeks, you might just keep getting stronger. And normally by the time the six to eight week mark shows up, assuming that you've been going slightly heavier, slightly heavier, you should be about 100%. But I would wait to the third or fourth week to start benching or doing any actual heavy kind of pressing. I would start very light and very high rep and make it gradually heavier and gradually harder. And that's what I have found to help me rehab in about somewhere between four and eight weeks. I'm usually back to about 100%. If you rush it, chances are you will hurt yourself again. If you don't rush it, chances are you'll lose mobility. You know, you might just completely give up training. A lot of people get hurt and they take off eight months or something. There's a fine balance. You don't want to take too little time and you don't want to take too long. So try and figure out what that is for you. You'll know basically by feel, but start off slow work into it over a few weeks, figure you'll be ready to get back into heavyweights in about two months as long as it's not a serious injury and you play your cards right. Now, I would recommend you wait to start stretching and massages and stuff like that for about two weeks probably after the injury because before that you may just be making it worse and that's not what you want to do. Um, let's see, ibuprofen is really good. Um, if it's bleeding it's a, probably a serious tear so Disregard this advice, I'm talking about pec pulls, not serious pec tears. And um, in general, hydration is also going to be key. So make sure your eating is right so you can recover. You're staying hydrated so your muscles are full like they should be and they can get the blood flow and the nutrients and stuff they need. And um, just basically rest and weigh it out and focus on what you can train in the meantime. Extensions, shoulder work, um, in my experience, heavy shoulder press. Um, so as always guys, hope you learned something cool or new. Hope this helps some of you guys out. Um, don't forget to like, share, and subscribe. Check out MuscleMaskets.com for approved products, apparel, online coaching, and stuff like that. And stay tuned for more. Peace.